Okay, so what we have here is a 1989 Mercury L4 outboard two-stroke. I've already removed the, the top cover plate, which covers the domes of the cylinders, as you can see. If you're watching this video, I assume you're somewhat familiar with these uh, outboards and the way they're laid out, um, especially the, specifically the two-stroke. Um, so <clears throat> I did a compression test and three of the four cylinders are really good. They're about 115 PSI which is where you want to be. And the number two is down to like 80. I don't know the full history on this engine. I think it, I know, well, from inspecting it, I know it was rebuilt once, but I don't think it has much use on the rebuild. So <clears throat> before I tore into it, what I did was inspected the cylinders through the spark plug holes and I'll show you some pictures of that. And the way I did that was using a fiber optic camera or a boroscope, as these are called. Okay, so our fiber optic camera does not have audio, so I'm just going to tell you what we saw in that inspection, and then I'll... Um, I'll just let that video roll so you can see what the inside of a good cylinder looks like. And one thing to notice, the, well, the walls aren't scored. Uh, there's not a lot of carbon buildup. And you can still see honing marks, which are the diagonal lines in the wall of the cylinder. So that's what tells me that this engine doesn't have a lot of hours on the, uh, the rebuild. So uh, anyway check out that video and then then we'll show you the cylinder number two that's uh, damaged So another thing we want to look at with this inspection is we want to get a look at the underside of the uh, the dome of the cylinder. Um, this doesn't have a cylinder head like most engines where you can pop the head off and, and look at the, the inside of the head. So that's all part of the cylinder. And with the camera, we'll be able to look um, inside that. And we want to make sure we don't have pitting or, or divots in the, the dome because that would indicate that we had some debris in there uh, like you get when uh, 
like a rod bearing goes bad and, and you end up with uh, shrapnel inside of your cylinder and you can get some, some pretty severe damage. So we'll take a look at the, um, the underside of the dome. And again, I'm just going to let that video roll. Okay, so that inspection had led me to also take off the the exhaust cover plate and baffle plate. Uh, if you're familiar with this arrangement, you know that there's a uh, <clears throat> there's an outer cover plate on the uh, exhaust casting or manifold and then there's a, a baffle plate that's sandwiched in between two gaskets. And it's a common problem um, for those gaskets to develop a leak. And that lets cooling water potentially into your cylinders. This, this area here is all full of cooling water here. These are the outlets to the cylinders here. You should be able to see the cylinders and pistons in there. So the gas comes out of these ports along here and down through the exhaust tube out the lower unit. So what will happen is um, there's hot gas is right coming right out of here and if anywhere along this point the gasket burns through or develops a leak the cooling water which is in here and goes in around this baffle plate and circulates around this area or here you can directly get water anywhere <clears throat> along here into this area now the number two and four cylinder on the bottoms are more likely to get the water entering. And that's really bad because the water breaks down your oil film and will lead to this scoring. <clears throat> 